welcome back to the channel everyone appreciate you stopping by checking out seeing what we're up to today well if you checked out my last video you might have seen me pick up these totes over in Vermont today I'm going to be taking two of them over to New Hampshire to a friend of mine's house where I'm also going to be picking up that mud mixer that probably caught your attention in the thumbnail I'll also be assembling it later in the video but I won't be running any concrete through it today. I don't have anything here to mix up in this video, but I do have a project lined up, and in the next video, I hope to be doing a demonstration on it, and trying it out. It was another beautiful day for a drive, and fortunately for me, this drive wasn't anywhere near as long as the one it took me to go get the totes in Vermont. I didn't mind taking this ride. I was pretty excited to be picking up this new piece of equipment that we purchased. And you might be asking yourself, what does a cement mixer have to do with homesteading? Good question. The truth is, it doesn't, in the sense that we don't absolutely need one because there are options available for getting cement and concrete if you need something for a project you're working on. You can have it delivered by a local company, that's an option. You can mix it up yourself in a wheelbarrow if you're not doing too much, or even a mixer, traditional barrel cement mixer. That all works fine, but I happened to come across this particular piece of equipment, and I was talking to my friend who was talking about doing some, or needing some concrete delivered to a property of his that he was doing some projects on and having a difficult time to find somebody in the vicinity to uh, deliver what he needed. The thought of mixing your own, although he has some nice equipment for mixing, still seemed kind of overbearing, I guess you'd say. So I showed him a picture and a video of this particular piece of equipment and in discussing it further, I thought there was many projects coming up that I would need some concrete for, that I could use it for, and also we could probably put it to work and maybe make it pay for itself in some form or fashion. So that's what we agreed to do. We pitched in and we bought this piece of equipment, this mud mixer. I'm looking forward to picking it up. We'll get it assembled today in the video. And then in another video, we'll go ahead and try it out. Of course, I couldn't resist to stop at the local Arbor Freight in New Hampshire to pick up a pump that I needed to run a mud mixer when I didn't have power available to me. This was going to be a DC pump that's going to run the motor, at least that's what I'm hoping, off an inverter. Anyway, New Hampshire's tax-free for what it's worth. Finally arrived back home, and here we are ready to unload. All right, next day, I got home yesterday and it's kind of late, so I decided I wasn't going to put it together yesterday. We didn't put it together, I don't know if I mentioned that in the video, we decided to just load it up and I bring it home and I put it together myself. So that's what I did, that's what we're going to do right now. I'm going to go ahead and get this out of the truck. It's really not that heavy. Hmm. Well, I'm only one person here today, so I think I'm going to make it a one-man job. It's not too heavy. I can just lay it out of the truck here. No problem. Okay, got a couple 
small boxes here. All right, we'll go ahead and break this open. And we'll inspect what we got here. Now, if you're asking yourself, am I getting into the concrete business? No, I'm not getting into the concrete business. This is basically a replacement instead of a typical or traditional concrete mixer that you might pick up at say Harbor Freight or anywhere pretty much. The barrel type, I guess they call it. Or uh, This is just a, a much more expensive alternative to that situation. And all my research basically led me to believe that this will be more of a time saver. And between the two of us, we have enough projects upcoming that we can make this uh, pay off and pay for itself eventually. So this looks pretty good. Let's take a closer look at it. All right, so here we go, mudmixer.com. And as I was just saying, this is basically a, I guess you would say today's modern version of the standard barrel mixer for concrete. And if any of you have ever if any of you have ever used one of those or done mixing with a typical wheelbarrow, you know how much work it can be. And for small projects, it's fine. But if you're doing a yard, two yards of concrete or more, at that point it becomes a question of, do you have a concrete, co a concrete company bring their truck in and give you what you need? Now, I. I know from our experience when we had to pour a section of the slab for our mobile home when we moved in here, we didn't have to pour the whole thing, just one section of it. It was a 66 foot concrete slab for our mobile home. And one of the sections was completely demolished and ruined. So we had to have it rebuilt before we could put our home on it. And Brenda and I did that by ourselves. And at that time, this was back about uh, seven, eight years ago now, the company we contacted said there was a minimum three yard delivery. I don't remember what we paid back then for those three yards of concrete, but it, uh, I want to say it was probably, I don't know, maybe a few hundred dollars a piece, a yard. I want to say it was a, maybe $350, $400 to get that delivered here to, to do it for us. Yeah, so it was, uh, like I said, it was, I believe it was somewhere around under $400 to have the three yards. That was back again, about seven, eight years ago. And when it got here, we ended up, we made, we made the forms and we had already built the forms. Everything was ready, so they basically backed up. There was one guy that brought it, the delivery guy, and he put the chute down and dropped the concrete and we spread it all out. And that worked out pretty well. So for some upcoming projects, I called the local company again and asked what their minimum delivery was. It was this particular company not too far down the road. They said their minimum was a, a yard, one yard, but it was, and it was not real clear, a bad connection, but he said it was $200, $50 delivery charge plus $200 a yard and some other fee, I'm not sure what he mentioned, it's hard to understand them, but I know I was looking at probably close to $300 a yard delivered. And with all the little projects, and sometimes you don't need what their minimum is, you just need a little and... So, we opted to invest in this and hoping that we'll be able to use it for our projects. And who knows, maybe we'll be even uh, doing some projects for other people at some point down the road. Okay, so I think the best way to attack this at this point, I hate to rip the box open. I'm gonna see if I can't lift this out of here. Yeah, a little heavy. <laughs> Let's see. bad. We get some handles. I'll tell you what, pretty heavy duty. Another handle. 
Okay, here we have, this is a half horsepower AC motor. Uh, I want to say it's 1.6 amp, and I think it, if I did the math right, I could be wrong, but if I did the math right, it's around 400 watts. I could be mistaken on that. I don't see any paperwork. But uh, the reason I'm bringing that up, I'll, I'll mention it later. This does require a 110 outlet right here. And oh, it comes with the hose for washing it off over on this side. Yeah. So this is where you hook up your garden hose. And that needs, according to the what I saw on, online, is uh, 40 PSI. And again, that's critical for times when you're going off where there's no water and you're going to be bringing your own. I got my serial number, model number. And I'll tell you what, this thing is heavy duty. Welded really well. Heavy metal. Here's your switch right here. Nice patent mud mixer. Let's get the rest of the boxes unloaded here. Okay. Big plastic wheel. Not sure where that goes. So, I'll put that off to the side for now. See what's in this one. All right, looks like we got our paperwork. Issues related to the product, contact information, register your mud mixer, and this isn't close, I'm not going to open it up now. Assume, yeah, this is just register your machine, and there's a, you know, the hardware for assembly, looks like, not too complicated. You got like uh, seven bolts there, some washers, and spring, pretty easy. We got here. Oh, these are big. Wow. I wasn't expecting them that big. The uh, video I've been watching, sorry about that crumple, the videos I've been watching, uh, the, the wheels didn't look that big. I thought they were probably this size. That's a good, what, 12 inch almost? Four, that's a four, four, six LP. That's a flat free, that's solid. Good rim, grease fitting. Plastic bushing, well built, nice. There's the other one, same thing. Very, you can already tell, uh, very well made product. As far as the construction of the metal and, and the heavy duty, it's, this is uh, not your typical homeowner, which the, part, the price reflects that. Obviously the price for, this looks like the axle will be the axle for the wheels here. And we have one heavy plate right here. And again, big heavy, it's a heavy plate steel right there. And I'm assuming this must be the base. So we'll get this box out of the way this down here for now that over. Yeah, yeah that'll be the base I'll get this box opened up like I said this was not something we were looking to do full-time for business necessarily however if some projects come up that we're interested in we may tackle a few here and there certainly help with paying off the machine. However, we fully expect that we re get our return from over time doing it, the projects we have coming up. Now we were able to get our order in for this. We were able to get our order in over the Labor Day weekend and they're running a special over the Labor Day weekend. And if you purchased during that time, they gave you, or they included, this chute right here. And that's a chute extension. I believe this is something new to their product line. 
and that will basically allow the chute, which will, this is the guard over the chute, will come out. Typically it would end right here. Now you'll be able to extend it even further, which is nice. Who knows, maybe they'll even come up with an extension for this one off the end someday. We'll see. All right, we got one more box. Okay, and this box I know is going to be the hopper extension. The hopper extension does not come with the machine standard. This is an add-on. And the reason I was sold on getting the add-on was because after watching a few videos, this hopper will allow you to add up to 300 pounds of uh, concrete. And that just reduces the running back and forth time, basically, uh, especially if it's one person. This hopper will allow you to load this right up and you can continue working on the other end without having to run back and keep monitoring to add bags and everybody that seemed to have this hopper seemed to really think it was a, a really good upgrade so that's what we did all right so i'll just go over this one more time here's your hopper and again the hopper just sits up on the top and allows you to add extra bags of concrete which is nice to reduce time on keeping it full that's a guard that goes over the chute over here leave that's going to be a base of some sort and wheels hardware so we're going to go ahead and get some handles down here we'll go ahead and get this put together okay assembly instructions registration information all right first step Flip it upside down. I just found out where that big pad went. Step two. Step three, A. Put that plate on. And three, B. Secure the plate. And then the handles. Let's start with that. Well, uh, first thing I just noticed, flipping it upside down, you can see there's a rail where the wire runs right here, this piece right here. And you can see it's fairly, it's fairly straight all the way around to the back side. However, when we get over this side, something doesn't look quite right. I'm not sure how that's going to affect when we try to put the hopper on. I may have to straighten that out. But I probably will let the company know. It's not a big deal. It doesn't look like it's going to affect the performance or anything like that. Like I said, we'll know once we get the hopper put on. If it's anything major, we'll deal with it then. But for right now, we'll go ahead and continue. Here's your motor. That's, like I said, a half horsepower and 1.6 amp. Oh, there's some, uh, there we go. It says right on here. I see it up in here. 250 watt. Yeah, 250 watt. 61,025, Well, that's good information. All right, let's continue. Okay, they don't really tell you how much to tighten up. Here, bolt right there. And the spring. It's a lock nut, nylon lock nut, so 
And the springs obviously to keep some tension on it while you're spinning it around. And we'll show you how it works once you get the foot back over. But basically here you pull this pin down right here. And that's what keeps it locked in. So if we don't have enough spring pressure, we can always come back and tighten that back up. And for this, we have six bolts to secure the handle base. Again, this is very, this isn't a uh, homeowner grade there. This is pretty heavy duty, really solid. I don't know the gauge of the steel, but it's pretty heavy duty. That's something that's gonna bend the first time you use it, put it that way. And this is all made in America, so it's quality. And I'm sure they stand behind their product. Haven't had any troubles. Put that on the other way. Probably about less than 30 minutes to put this together. Pretty straightforward. I think to get six bolts, you're gonna bolt your plate to the bottom frame here. Another section of handle gets bolted to that section. You can see the other bolt here that holds your bake plate on. And then you get a bolt in the middle here. Right here, it goes underneath. And there's a spring up in here, right there. So you can tighten that up. Basically, pull this little lever up out of the way, lock it in place, and that allows you to turn this. Shoot, so you can turn this where you need it. Really nice feature. We got the button on, forward, reverse. I'm gonna go ahead and put this on, put the other stuff on, and we'll see what it looks like. It goes that way. And this here. I'll lock this in place. I'll go ahead and take this out. Looks like you pull this pin out. This slides off. And then up in here, this is a cardboard for protection. Really? As you see up in here, you have your water spigots, the hose that shoots the hose into the mixture, which obviously gets plugged in over here for your garden hose, your water input. This here is just a hose they provide you for uh, washing up afterwards. And then this spiral that turns and pushes the concrete out the end here. So, slide this guard on. All right, well, I'm not quite sure how that's intended to mount, if that's what their intention was. This guard here, which is nothing more than a guard, obviously, just to keep stuff from falling in here. And then as far as this goes, basically, just line up those holes, put this pin in here. That kind of locks that in place. 
And as far as I can see, I mean, that looks like that would make the most sense right there. Just kind of hooks up on top here and kind of sits right there. And that gives you pretty good extension actually to get into the job. So that's pretty much it. Uh, we're not gonna run it right today. I don't have any concrete, but I do have a project coming up. So I'm going to go ahead and get some concrete coming and we will definitely get a uh, run on this and try it out. I'm really looking forward to giving this a try. Again, we're not really looking to get into the concrete business necessarily. We're just doing this because it's something we're gonna be needing going forward. However, if we do find people that uh, obviously need small jobs done here and there, we'll definitely be happy to discuss taking that on. All right, so that's it for the video for today. I've assembled this mud mixer that we just picked up and as far as the pricing goes on this, I believe they're selling for around $3,000. The hopper extension was, I think, another $300 approximately. I don't, you have to go to the website. We're not affiliated with them at all in any way. Uh, Mudmixer.com, you can check it out. And like I said, we got the extension because we signed up over the Labor Day weekend uh, to get the special. Not sure what that went for, I think a hundred and something dollars. At any rate, plus shipping, I think the total to get it here to New England from wherever they're located. I think they're in Texas, USA company. So uh, it only took a few days to get here, which was really good. And I think the total with shipping came to around $3,600 in that, in that ballpark. So, and New Hampshire's tax free. I'm sure that probably had something to do with as far as ordering it uh, without sales tax, I'm, I'm guessing. But at any rate, uh, that's it for today's video. And I'm pretty excited to get this running and give it a try. And if anybody has any experience with one of these, go ahead and leave a comment below. Let, let me know how you like it. If you have any tips or tricks on using it yet, I'm certainly interested in hearing what you got to say. And other than that, we'll catch you in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye.